You have to have a passion if you're an artist. And if I didn't have the passion, I would have quit. But I, I never gave up. I still feel I'm not finished yet. The best is yet to come, and babe, won't that be fine? A career that spanned over half a century, Tony Bennett has left his mark as one of the greatest singers and performers of all time. Yes, the good life, it makes you hide all the sadness you feel. With that smooth singing style, Tony's achieved success with worldwide record sales of over 50 million and 15 Grammy Awards. He's performed duets with music's biggest stars from Barbara Streisand and Elton John to Paul McCartney, Christina Aguilera, and of course, Lady Gaga. When we're out together dancing cheek to cheek. Don't you just light up when you see him? I always do. He's a very dear friend of mine, and he's been there through the good times and the bad. I love singing with him so much. Born Anthony Dominic Benedetto in Astoria, Queens, New York, Tony grew up poor during the height of the Depression. When I retrospect and look back at my life, it always goes back to the beginning, my family. They gave me so much encouragement and love when I was small. They, they said, boy, you really sing good, you know, and they really made me feel good, and they gave me a lot of love. After serving on the front lines in World War II, Tony returned home to New York to follow his dream. He hit the local club scene, performing under the name Joe Barry, and got his big break when Bob Hope happened to be in the audience at one of his gigs. He got a big kick out of me because I was the only white kid in the show. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> so he said, what's your name? I said, Joe Barry. He said, that's a city in Italy. He said, give me your real name. I said, it's Anthony Dominic Benedetto. And he said, well, that's a little long for the marquee. Let's Americanize you. We'll call you Tony Bennett. The budding crooner signed with Columbia Records in 1950 and landed on the charts with a string of million-selling hits like Because of You and Rags to Riches. So I go from rags to riches. By 1962, Tony was on top of the world, releasing perhaps one of his best-known songs. I left my heart. San Francisco. That same year, he appeared on the very first Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson. Three years later, he got the biggest compliment of his life. Your idol Frank Sinatra once said, for my money, Tony Bennett is the best singer in the business. How much did that mean to you? Well, what did he know? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it changed my whole life. Tony saw more success in the late 70s and 80s, but it wasn't until 1994 when he was reintroduced to the world on MTV Unplugged, which earned him two Grammys, including Album of the Year. It had to be you. The way you're treating us tonight, if I get lucky enough, I'd love to sing for another 60 years. After two failed marriages, Tony married longtime companion Susan Crow, 33 years his junior. In 2006, we were with Tony and Susan to celebrate his 80th birthday, along with 250 of his closest friends. You know, everybody's keeping everything like kind of a secret about tonight. And uh, so it's uh, a lot of unexpected, wonderful moments, I'm sure. This is the greatest night of my life, and thank you for being so beautiful, all of you.